Ah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, Pokemon Battle. At Pokemon PS2, this is actually canon. Oh, wow. Okay, Eon. Okay, yeah. Eon. This guy is pretty wild. Got the chance to uh, play doubles with him as well. Him and Larry team, actually, the, the Fox Boys sticking together. And, oh, wow. Okay, just runs up and whiffs that grab. Somehow that didn't reach, but I believe Pichu actually has a fairly impressive grab range, despite being a real tiny character. Um, yeah, who would have thought that one of the joke characters from Melee comes back into Ultimate as one of the fiercest characters in the game? I mean, we have been seeing results from players such as Void and Captain L, but again, Pichu damaging itself with every time it uses an electrical attack. Will it matter? And also being one of the lightest, if not the... Yeah, the lightest by a lot. Yeah. Up down there with Game & Watch, down there with Jigglypuff. I mean, at hit, like after hit 60%, he almost said right there from an up spin. Yeah, I feel like Eon has been dealing most of the damage here to himself. Like, of that 63, I'd say maybe like 35 of it was self-inflicted. Yeah, that's definitely a lot that you have to manage top of your opponent damaging you, and of course a character like Lucario where you have Aura and Rage, I mean you're working on both sides, and against yourself. Great textures. Love that, the up tilt, hitting from behind, such a good combo starter. Oh, and the counter, yeah that's gonna do it. A stock down, and with 70%, Lucario is a killing machine. Cero gonna put himself on the board here, and we still have the pre-patch Aura Sphere to deal with. Yeah, that, of course, leading into a clip, into an up smash. That aura is very damaging as opposed to Pichu's Shadow Ball, which does not damage while it charges. It's a great uh, combo animated definitely by Sue in Smash 4 and some of the other Lucario's main, such as Day in Florida. Um, interesting to see how Lucario develops in this meta now that Rage isn't as strong, but still, Aura is something that's always going to be an issue for players dealing against it. Dude, the up tilt to Thunder, and it all linked. That was actually gorgeous. My man Eon getting in there in the early stages of this match. Or this set, really, because we're two minutes deep here. And, oh man, he's on the verge of winning? This man goes for spikes all the time. The spike I for both Pichu and Pikachu are very, very rude. Almost uncanny that they're able to do that. I want to know who signed off on that, on the development team. Ooh. It's like, you know what this character who's a demon offstage needs? A spike. But I'm down with it, man. I, I think it just makes them cooler and more exciting. Because otherwise, what, you just keep going for nares or fares until they eventually I'll die? Throw it through our thunder. Yeah, like, well, I mean off stage, you know? True. Yeah, Eon making tech chases look pretty textbook. Uh, another welcome addition to Ultimate, the fact that now there's more interactions with so many roles and things being slower. Uh, Eon showing us that, yeah, this is definitely not something you can just autopilot through and a back throw, setting him off stage, something to challenge with and he whips right past them. And now at 184, this is actually a very horrifying Lucario. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to fight this guy, man. Even though you're one hit away from killing him, he's oh two God. hits away from winning the game. Like spirit bomb, but Again, matters not. Was that forward throw? Uh, yeah, I think so. We need more ultimate I actually looked away for like one second as he got the grab. And uh, Pichu's forward throw does kill, though. All right, so moving on into the second game. Cero, he had some, some chances. Of course, Lucario powers up as he gets beaten up, right? But Pichu kills super early. It's going to be a lot about just being able to hang on and get the huge hits that you can. Yeah, I think we're thinking about a potential counter pick, but of course, there is confidence in Cero in his Lucario, so he's going to go right back to him. And I think we're going back to PS2, which, again, this canon match. Just like in the Pokemon movies, very dynamic. Uh, very exciting as well. I mean, both of these characters either are comboing each other or destroying each other. So, I'm here for it. Starting the match off really quick. 77%, 81%. And I mean, I don't count. know how it comes from this little mouse. Right? Like, where does it come from? Well, he has to put his own life on the line to do it, so. 9.8% 9, 9 dug to himself so far. He just took about 17 right on the chip from that backer from Lucario, but for the most part, it seems like Eon is uh, 2v1ing himself. This damage is doing with every electrical attack. All right, gonna get the back throw, reset the offstage situation again. Oh, Eon oh, backing off though. Out. Well, I think he was going to chase and up me past him, but yep. instead, we had Cero go to ledge safely. So 
Smart by Eon either way, because that was the okay. safest bet you could go for, right? Yeah, you still have the chance to cover the high up B, and then if he does the low one, you're losing nothing. Yeah, unfortunately, a two frame missed from Eon for the spike, but regardless, he did take the stock, and now he's laying on that damage, ending Ooh. at 56 after the initial touch. I mean, it's about, if it's about damage, Peach is there. Peach is setting up the convention for it. He's keeping it going, man, just completely untouched. Oh, and he went all the way with that downer. Actually going to KO off the side. That was ridiculous. Yeah. Eon working on a three stock. Yeah, Excuse the, me. The wind up from the up the on Lucario, of course, giving that moment for Eon to get down there and spike. And wow, even through the air dodge, which had all that massive amounts of lag through the air. Eon makes it back with a quick attack. Now he is at kill percentage since, of course, there is an aura sphere buff as well. It's the fact that he's so light. This might be the hardest three stock in the game, by the way, because you're a character that damages yourself against a character engineered for comebacks. I just want to point out the fact that he wall jumped from yeah. the center. He got back yep. and quick attack. That is beautiful. But you're right. You are also giving damage to yourself, also giving damage to someone who benefits from it. And, and you're the lightest character. And you're the lightest character. Barely having the whisker shaved off from that aura sphere. It is now the size of a Dragon Ball Z Goku Spirit Bomb. My gosh. This is as strong as Lucario can be, I believe. Wow, the down air is <laughs> just going to wipe him off the board. Yeah, no three stock. That is, I'd say, ridiculously difficult to do in this matchup. Yeah. Fun fact, by the way, Pichu's up E is agility. Not quick attack? And melee, at least. I'm going to check check the Bible. But yeah, it's agility and melee. Yeah, well, right now, Sarah's doing anything to stay in the game. This is his tournament stock, 119 Bless from New England, potentially turning into a curse. But yeah, you're right. In the Bible, it shows. It has agility, but a thunder from Eon takes a side. 